Hello, Pastor John here with today's Faith Over Fear. If you're a baseball fan, at some time you've heard the word tunneling. Um, tunneling is a word used to describe the pitcher, and, or better yet, how good the pitcher really is. It's, it's simply, and we're going to tie this all in here in just a minute if you bear with me. It's just simply, the good pitcher will make every pitch look the same no matter how fast or how slow the ball goes to the batter. When it comes out of their hand, it looks, it looks exactly the same every, pit, every pitch. That is for a while. Then it breaks, then it stays, it goes up or goes down or whatever it does. A person who traps animals for a living does the very same thing in, in a different way. He makes the trap blend into the surroundings around him so that the animal doesn't know he's going to get caught. And my, my, my way of thinking is that the devil does the exact same thing. He sets his traps, if you will, and even, even makes them look appealing. He makes them look good. He makes them look beautiful. He tries to come to the Christian and has, has, have, having realized that he can't win the battle over heaven and hell because it's already settled. And if you've accepted Christ in your heart, it is already settled. There's nothing that you can do to lose your salvation. But the devil sure can make us ineffective. He sure can make us to the point where we're no, where, where our effectiveness for the Lord is, is compromised. You know, it's, it, but it, he tries to ruin our testimony. He tries to get us to, to say things we shouldn't say, do, do things we shouldn't do, and go places we shouldn't go. But the fact is, it's my choice. It's your choice to follow God or to fall for the devil. The devil tries to tunnel, if you will, or disguise God's will for your life to get us out of the center of God's will. And I want, I want to think just a minute about being in the center of God's will. Picture, if you will, a big circle and a person right in the middle of that circle. The person in the middle of the circle, let's say the, the circle is God's will, the big circle is God's will, and the person in the middle is a Christian. Staying in the center of God's will is important because a Christian will always, from time to time, not, not, maybe not always, but from time to time, a Christian will make a wrong decision. They'll say the wrong thing. They'll do the wrong thing. They'll go to the wrong place. They'll hang around the wrong friend. So the importance of being in the center of God's will is that if you're in the center of the circle and you fall, you still fall in the circle. You're not what you should be. You're not what God wants you to be. But you're still inside that circle of God's will that you can pick yourself up and go again. If you get too close to the edge, and again, hypothetically speaking, if you get too close to the edge of God's will, you're just... You're one foot in the church and one foot out. You're one foot, you're one foot into serving God and the other foot into serving, serving the world and doing the things of the world. So if the devil gets you to fall, and he's going to try, and he'll succeed from time to time, if, if you fall and you're at the, at, your, at the edge of God's will, you fall outside of God's will and you end up in the hog pens of life. You end up doing things that you thought you'd never do again, being places you thought you'd never go again. So he says, he, he, God emphasizes the, the, the importance of staying in that big circle, not, in the, not, not just staying in the circle, but being in the center of God's will. So as we go today, think about that. Think about how close you are to the center of God's will. Or are you just, just barely in God's will enough to say, well, you went, well, I went to church Sunday. I read my Bible today. I did pray. But are we, are we really in the center of God's will? And you, you know whether you are or not. So the, the question is, are you there? Am I living today, this day, in the center of God's will? And I hope and I pray so. Now you go and make it a great day until, until, we meet, until we're together again. And may God bless.